Ernie here from Miami Food Family, about to get super caffeinated on all the ways that you can drink Cuban coffee. This Cuban American is gonna show you the different ways to drink Cuban coffee. Cafecito, colada, cortadito, Café con leche. You ready? Caffeine, here we come. Let's get started. This is what we need. The most important thing that we use is la greca or the mocha pot. Created in Italy. Italy. Created in Italy. Created in Italy by Alfonso Vialetti. I didn't get that wrong. So, let me show you how this works. As soon as I unscrew it. We have a water line that goes here. This is where the steam comes out. You can see it on the inside perhaps. So you fill the water to there to let the steam come out because the way this works after you fill the coffee here and put it in, it's going to be pressurized. So the steam will come out allowing the water to go up and the coffee to come out by here. Mm -hmm. Let's start packing. As I said, there's no fill line. You got to measure it by the little nozzle on the inside. You don't want to pass it because then water is going to sit out of you. Put this down. We're going to pack it with some finely ground espresso coffee, Cuban coffee. And I know a lot of people are wondering, what is the difference between Cuban coffee and espresso? The difference would be that we add sugar. That's it. Italians do not add sugar. They may give it to you on the side or something, but we add sugar off the bat. I will show you how it is that we do it what we call espumita, where we mix a little bit of coffee, the first that comes out of here, with the sugar in here, blend it together, and we get a nice little caramel looking topping that we use. Wondering if you could see there me packing. I am making a mess. Tap, 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 tap. Want to press it down. We can fast forward this part later. You have to make sure you pack it really tight, so tight that in Cuban restaurants, you're going to see that to get the grinds out the borra after it's been used, they have a two by four inside the garbage can and they're just packing it, smacking it in there to then be able to use it again, just to so get pop right out. It's not disgusting at all. You have to see it. It's great. Now let's put this together. Let's build it. Could you see that? Beautiful. I know. Put it on top. And around the world, around the world. And then you want to make sure you secure it nice and tight. You don't want to have any, you don't want to have any of the water or steam coming out from the side here with the ring. You want it to come out right from here. Let's get the stovetop going and make some coffee. But before we do that, I'm going to start putting sugar in my little container here. The epumita that I discussed. Once the coffee starts coming out of here, the first couple drops, not sure why it has to be the first couple drops, but that's what my grandmother said. You pour it in here with some sugar. One, two, maybe three. Let's do three because it is Cuban coffee after all. So you get the first couple drops, then you put it in here, then you beat the hell out of it until you get a nice little caramel top. I will show you in a minute. We are ready to go. I like to lift the lid up because I just enjoy seeing the first couple of drops come out. And now we wait. And now we're gonna beat this, okay? We got the coffee in there, we got the sugar. There you go, mostly sugar and a drop of coffee. The secret to Cuban coffee is the little foam on top that you get from the sugar and the coffee mixture. My grandmother swore by this, she lived to 99, so you have to believe whatever she says. The secret to life was water and coffee. 
Now that the coffee is ready, we're going to pour it into our little epumita pile. Ta-da! And stir it. La -da -da. Now that you have combined it, you should have a nice little foamy, delicious top. So when you pour your little Cuban shot of coffee, you are good to go. Now, if you go to a little Cuban cafeteria and you go up to the window, this is how they will serve you a cafecito, which is the Cuban espresso that has sugar. Look how beautiful that is. It's delicious. Now, a lot of people do wonder when they come in from out of town why it is that we only drink this much. Well, this is all you need. The amount of caffeine that is in here is a perfect little punch to get you going for the rest of the day or morning or afternoon, evening. My grandmother drank it before bed. Cafecito, which is the espresso with sugar. The entire thing would be called the colada. So you take it and you share it amongst many, like I'm gonna share with my camera person who is falling asleep right now. There you go. Other drinks, the cafe con leche and cortadito, I'm gonna show you how to make those right now. Here I have a cafe con leche, which is at least two parts milk and one part coffee, which is why a lot of kids in our family drink it, or in any Cuban family, they drink this because it's mostly milk. All right, I have everything here that we need, which is not much to make cafe con leche, so it's very easy to do. Cafe con leche or cortadito. The main difference is when you have cafe con leche, you have one part of coffee, you can say, and two parts milk. When you have a cortadito, you have two parts coffee, one part milk. Main thing. I will show you as we do it. But Regular milk, if you're doing it at home, a lot of Cubans like us, we like to add evaporated milk. It just makes it a little richer. You could always ask for it at the Cuban restaurants. They will be more than happy to provide you a leche evaporada, evaporated milk. All right, let's put this on the stove top. Why do we do it in a pot instead of the microwave? Well, the microwave is not gonna bring out the natural sweetness of the milk like the pot is. Also, when you do it in the pot, the fat of the milk is going to rise to the top and form what we call nata. I don't have a translation for that in English. My wife does love it. I find it gross, but those are the differences. Let's put this in the stove top. All right, let's get our milk going here in the pot. And I did say that I like having it with evaporated milk, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some right, right now. So we're gonna leave it at medium high. If your stove top is numbered, that would be an eight for you. We are gonna bring it to a boil so the lactoderm, or nata, films there on top. Forms. Forms on top. ASMR portion of the show. Now we're gonna pull it off because the milk is rising. And we are ready to go. Why do you stir it? To break it up and bring it back down. Science stuff that you... Cannot explain. <laughs> All right, we explained the espresso, we explained the colada and the Cuban coffee. So now we're gonna do the cafe con leche and the cotadito. So for the cafe con leche, we have the glass, you're gonna fill it up basically all the way to the top. Not all the way, but you need, you need some room for coffee. This is a cafe con leche pour. Now, the cortadito is more coffee than milk. You either have two parts, one part, or one in one, however you wanna do it. We'll go just about half here. Ta-da. Then you fill the rest with coffee. I should probably have a spoon. You know what, let's do this so you guys can see it right here. And voila, a little shot of coffee in there. I will stir it for you in a second. The rest can go in here. This is a cortadito pour. Almost the whole thing to the top. Which is one part? One part coffee, one part milk. Let's get a little spoon to mix it up. Or the bottom of a fork, since I have no spoons. I'm going to show you the color difference now when I put them side by side. Everyone likes salt in their cafe con leche. It's the hidden secret ingredient that makes it taste so well because we know salt brings out the flavor in everything. 
but it's not automatically added to any coffees in a cafeteria. Thank you. It is not automatically added to any coffee in a cafeteria. Your grandmother, my grandmother, will do it. Anybody's grandmother who's Cuban is going to add salt to it. But anyway, here we go. You have a kind of really big cotadito. And your cafe con leche. One is much lighter, one is much darker. Oh, if I could only understand what my camera person wants me to do right now. Perfect. For the thumbnail. You look like a demon. I <laughs> know, smile. Okay. That's a really big cortado. Hmm. Hmm, man. I wish all of you could try this right now. This is fantastic. This is really good acting, because I've... <laughs> no, it's really good. I don't know. It's, it was the right amount of leche evaporada and milk. I clearly know what I'm doing. I've made this enough. Seen my wife do this enough. Honey, you don't have to do this anymore. I got you. This do you is recommend it. drinking the whole thing? Because you made that big. Well, I do not recommend drinking all of this. My wife can take more caffeine than I can. This would make me bounce off walls. I'm not ready for that right now. What was I doing now? You're going to share the cortadito with me. I'm going to share this cortadito with my wife. Not the camera person. <laughs> Remember to subscribe for more Miami-inspired food. Make a comment if there's something you've ever tried in Miami that you're dying to make at home and we can make for you. I am Ernie from Miami Food Family. Behind the camera, Sofia. My beautiful wife producing is on her right. <laughs> you guys know the routine. Like, share, make a comment. Shout out to Alfonso Bialetti for creating the coffee machine mocha pot. Greca. Make sure to watch for more from sure Miami Food Family. More. Make sure to watch for more Cuban inspired recipes. Miami Food Family. Again, share it. Tell, come on, tell everybody about it. Have some coffee. I'm taking my coffee and I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.